What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how I record uh, tags for the YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to break down uh, everything I do, everything I record today in the logic session. And uh, we're going to record a simple tag called back in my hometown, really fun, easy uh, tag to sing. And um, let's just go right into logic. Uh, and I, as you can see, I've made four tracks ready to record. And um, let us begin with the bass. Okay, and I sometimes like to begin with the bass because um, then you have all the root notes, or more or less all the root notes in the chord. Make the tape roll. And let's make sure that our channel it's loaded up. Hello, it is not. As you can see, it's in the wrong input. It should be one. And let me just go back. We can edit that out, right? Back in my home. Listen to it. Back in my home town. Okay, and it sounds like I am just maybe a bit below pitch. Uh, so. Let's just check with the pitch uh, right. Okay, we are pretty much on there. Um, then what I'd like to do before I move on is to um, use the flex, many one of the many flex tools in uh, Logic. Uh, and of course, I'm going to pitch this because it's a learning track. It's not... Um, we're not doing a CD or anything here. Um, it's it's supposed to be as close to perfect as possible. Let's just check first to see if anything is okay. Back in my home. Um, a bit flat there, so. Back in my Let me just quickly you can see some scooping, some sliding. Back in my home. So this is really flat. We can this the quickest way is to just double click, but it will also make it sound more uh like a robot than if you would do it uh by ear. If you can say that back in my home, my home. Okay, so it drops a bit. This is what I usually would do. Okay, so let's do the baritone. Okay. Back in my home. That's the bass. Back in my home.
Maybe this part is good. Down. Okay. Last part is pretty good. Um, we can do some uh, timing correction later on. So let's use the scissor tool to just edit the beginning out and then do one more take. So back in my, there, there's a lot of changing. Um, the baritone changes function all the time. So it's pretty difficult to snap into uh, those different functions right away. Let's just do some takes. Back in my home. Okay, so. Oh, so much. Um, that note in the baritone should be much sharper. Back in my home town. Baritone is all right. Lead. And yeah, like I said, because this is basically the video is, per or the purpose of the video is basically to show you guys how I operate. Um, so just for time's sake, I won't, I won't be spending, you know, an hour on getting the recording right. I will just basically show you what you can do in Logic and if, uh, what you can do if you would like to uh, experiment or try to record tax yourself. Let's go ahead with the lead. Back. Back in my home. So to do that again and then uh, nice octave uh, nasty seventh we might just save this one let me just color that so I know that I want to save that back in my Okay, so what if we merge these two? Back in my home time. Okay, <clears throat> Okay. so maybe before we move along, I can hear some untidiness in the baritone. So let me just, just make sure that sounds nice. Okay, 
base a base oh. actually you can hear i have a lot of vibrato um right and you can actually see that with it in the waves i'll keep them from now but you can actually just straighten it up and be a real robot Magic. All right. Uh, home. Home. Okay, so home. We are rising at the end. Let me just. Home. Um, let's see later on if we want to change anything, but for now, I think it sounds nice. Let's put the lead back. I'm pretty cool. We can just we can look at it if we want to. Let's go from here and oh. yeah. So we have some spikes. That's okay. I can remove them if I want to. Um, so it says fine pitch minus three. Oh. That note is. Uh, the C in A flat, that's the major third. And if I were to tune this perfectly, it should be minus 14 cents. So just for the fun of it, let me just put it down here. Okay, so super low. Let's actually see if we can do that in real life. Back in my home Ta Okay Back in my home Nice Let's just put that down here and then <clears throat> do a tenor. Back in my home. Ta <laughs> ah, no, but back in my. That's loud. All right. So Sounding cool. Okay, four parts. Back in my home. I like to edit and make it sound really nice make it really pop uh, like a you know studio quality sound just for today and because i don't have that much time on my hands let, let's just make this sound cool um with editing tools from now okay so um first off let me just separate the sound a bit so i like to do a bit of a yeah I won't say wide, but wide-ish uh, pan. So 25 to the left and right. Then maybe around 9 
ish for the Elite Base. Back in my home. so that you can hear the bash uh, the bass the ball you can hear the bass um not really landing on its note yeah scooping too low there and you can actually see it so what i can do is <clears throat> i can use scissor tool and i would then cut here make it jump all over the place and, and i can then Let's say I would like to that that note to just be on pitch, bang, zero. Uh, so what I can do now is to breach the gap like uh, like so. Let's zoom in and okay, let's listen. I okay, so yeah, much better, and it's not you know, robo, it's just me fixing a scoop. Yeah, this is sounding very nice to me. And what I would do now is to, um, yeah, is to fix some rhythmic things. Let me just zoom in. And then back in my back back okay back so already the bass is far behind ah not behind in front uh whoa all the zoom and we can actually just drag this so i use the viewfinder tool or i think playhead thumb thank you uh and basically just drag and drop too much maybe want to sound i want it to sound i'm trying at least to may to have it a natural sound still even though i'm editing so i'm not just flat out making it a robo back in my home okay so the my let's just enable it for all the tracks okay and then do this so I can actually see so home is it slow yeah. okay so Lee no oh, tenor is uh, you can see let's cut there bring it up whoa Let's listen to it if it's not too robo. Yeah, basically just deleted this scoop. I'm okay with that edit. It's okay, to me at least. It would be interesting to hear from you if it's, you know, do you think it's cool to do these kinds of edits? Uh, or would you rather to have all the fa uh, faults? Uh, and mistakes or minor mistakes in the actual end product yeah let me know
Okay, so tenor is a bit faster. So let's just... Yeah, that's sounding nice. That's sounding nice. Oh no, there's a click. Where is that? There's a click. Okay, so what a shame. I need to do a new take on the lead. Um, now I know what it is. It's it's my knuckles because I'm you know home. It's my stupid knuckles clicking. Back in my There it is. Very nice. Okay, so let's just Ooh, do we dare to? Let's listen first. Okay. Uh, kick in my home. Nice. Delete. Okay, delete, unmute, back in my home. Yeah, cool, we'll use that. Okay, so now, bass is in front, let me get this, the So time, I need to track that. Uh, baritone. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Works for me. Uh. Okay, t and then baritone and lead. They have their little moment. Uh. Ooh, nasty. Uh. Who's going up first? Uh. It's lead. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. And then the last swipe uh, turn is too early. Yeah. And it's all of the voices. Let's mute this and focus on the first three. Okay, first two. Could be early. Okay, so around here the bass has landed, so let's shift that a bit down. Let's fix the. Yeah, around there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Because the seventh is oh, Ooh, this is criminal. Minus forty seven seven is actually too low. Uh, it's uh, supposed it, the lowest is minus thirty one. Uh, Dang. Uh, but I still like to rely on my ears rather than. Numbers. Yeah. Okay. So I will fix the pitch drift. So, so make sure I'm not. But staying relatively in the same pitch, and then making sure that. So. Actually, pretty cool. Maybe this. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Tenor. 
listen to whoops Tom. yeah don't worry about the vibrato if you if you don't like it you can remove it back in my So uh, I can actually dig this. Um, I'll have to automate some some audio. I could, you know, cut all the uh, different parts into uh, small pieces, you know, because this is obviously quieter than this part. Yeah, today I'll, I'll just use automation, um, but you could cut each bit into uh, tinier parts and then you know gain them gain staging it's called uh, I'll just yeah I'll just automate for today's project I like to just in the beginning just put some reverb on let's see how that sounds I'll use the chroma verb remember to go from mono to stereo otherwise yeah it, it will just sound a bit boring and I'll use a send uh, and a bus so each channel gets a bus and then you gain you put some gain on and then put the <coughs> the uh, the effect straight on the auxiliary track down here okay and just just let's just use a, you know some sort of a preset halls we like halls vocal hall why not listen to it and I like to do around minus, depends on the tag, but let's just minus 19, yeah, 0. 0.5. Back in my home time. Okay, um, let's just give that a bit more. Why not just go all the way? Back in my home time. I'm just adding some volume as we go along. I like that sound. Back in my home. Okay, so if the more you, the more gain you put on this, obviously the more reverb is going to be heard. Oh, because I like to be able to you know hear the words and he have a sense of uh, closeness uh, to the sound as well as I, I'm also just a sucker for the you know big boomy 
reverbs. So maybe let's just. Um. Much better. Editing wise, I'm not, you know, an editing whiz or anything, but I'm learning, trying to do my best. I like to just throw on some a basic vocal chain, if you if you will. Uh, so first do EQ and I don't what's it called uh, a reductive EQ maybe um, so I'm not adding anything I'm basically cutting so I like to do a low cut 60 yeah something like that you could easily just s not s well s yes yeah, skip this and it was sounding okay uh, without all these things but let's just do it anyway. Uh, okay, and then I usually put on um, compressor. Back in my home. I yeah, and this basically, you know, compresses all the loud. Uh, notes and brings up the quieter notes so it equals out the recording basically quicker attack to respond to the uh, yeah different uh, impulses Back in my so the faster the attack is uh, the quicker the needle reacts Back in my heart. and then bring up some makeup gain to Back add up the Missing one. Back in my home. Okay. And we don't have too many T's and S's in this recording, but I usually just put on, uh, where is it? D S or DLs. And then may I just, I'm a big fan of the factory or the uh, different kinds of presets. Back in my home. Okay. Tube. Some additive EQ. Back in my home. Back in my just adding some grit to it. Back in, back some saturation. Back in my back in my back in my and let's just uh, add that to the others and then I can after that, you know, go in and customize for each of the voice parts. So they all need it, basically. And then I'll go to, let's say, bass. Back in my... I like to do a teeny tiny bump around 100 and so, so and so. And... Back in my... Add some low e extra low end. Back in my, back in my, back in my, home. back in my. <laughs> Maybe it was a mistake to do that in chest voice, but yeah, back. that's how she goes. Oh. Okay, so maybe there is too much vibra vibrato here. Um, we can just 
I can show you at least how to. Um, it's all, all all the wavy stuff here. So we can cut and then straighten out the uh, because I don't want to mess up all this. Um, Just small edits like that, then, to me, makes it stay a bit natural. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Cool. Okay. We can do, uh, yeah, we can do some quick, yeah, mastering. Uh, so here we'll do yeah low cut again to us uh, I've already cut all the frequencies so there's not much to it but this and then <coughs> remove some stuff as well so this is put on the stereo out um, and let's just listen to the time back in my in my home. You want to make small adjustments here. Back in my I'm just listening, doing a you know, sweep to, uh, to listen for frequencies. Back in my home. called yeah nope wrong one should be the Tokyo Dawn Lab the Kotelnikov mastering compressor let's go back in my and I'm all for the warm maybe smooth back in my This should make the mix, you know, come together. I know we'll, we only have four tracks, but still. Back in my home. Back in my home. Time. Back in EQ. So mastering to back in my home. I have no idea how this sounds through the stream, so yeah. And also I'm wearing headphones. Normally I use my studio monitors, but 
yeah, um, we'll see. But this is what I normally do. So I, I, even though I cut some really low end, I still like to add some, some 40 hertz and also some 160. Back in my life. Small adjustments. Back in my home time. We got the bass. Back in my So this is for the subwoofer as well back in my maybe we should roll off some of the yeah like that cool oops in the base back in my home time Maximum of, I don't know, some people say 1.5 reduction, some say 2. Yeah. Back, back in my. So keep an eye on this number. Back in my. Back Whoops. Down. You know what? We can basically just Down. 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 Not bad. Nope. Down. Down. Own, own. Okay, so we have sort of a own, unfortunate own, 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 own. Okay, maybe I can fix that. Own, 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 own. Down. Yeah, cool. Stay down. Down. Pretty cool. Okay, right, one more listen through, and then I think it's basically done. Back in my home.
could do a lot more, a lot of editing to this if you want to. Uh happy with it I think it sounds nice um, okay so I can show you how I do the different parts as well so as you can see I have a rest and predominant auxiliary uh, track down here um, so what I do is uh, when I do each uh, lead, uh, learning track part I uh, make let's say tenor output signal change that into a bus Predom, uh, predominant and then do the same and then just put them into rest so now I can back in my home. yeah so I can do that um, and um, if I want to remove it, it's just the opposite. So Removing the um, reverb, of course. Back in my home. So he, now it's yeah, basically like you do in the videos. So you can sing along to this. Back in my home. That's how that works. Um, so I'll just, I'm just, you know, uh, going through each tenor lead bass baritone and um, exporting um, audio files um, for each learning track. So for now, I'm not going to do that. Let's just leave it at that. That is how I do learning tracks and I hope you found this um, entertaining fun um, and just uh, let me know if you would like um, more of these videos in the future I'm at least doing the video part of this video as well but that's it for now cheers <laughs>